very old back. Good morning. We're off to see Mark on site as part of his uh, qualification. We call the domestic installer, but it's really so he can get competent person status and work for himself in domestic dwellings. So I'm off to see him this morning. Hopefully he's got some decent evidence that we can gather and I can record. However, he's struggling a bit with uh, putting together some of the method statements and risk assessments and the back paperwork that he needs for his qualifications. So I'll have a little look at that as well today. So we're off to see Mark next and see what he's up to. So once again, we're on site and we're having a look at the paperwork that Mark's put together for me. He's currently uh, involved in extending a property and doing the wiring within the extension. So of course that'll be covered by building control, notifiable work, etc. We'll have a little look at that if we get a chance. Obviously customer willing will be able to go and have a look at it. But from my point of view, students, it's all about that paperwork as well on that first visit. So Mark's put himself together, safety policy off the internet, adapted it to work for his company and adapted to work for the type of work that he's carrying out we've also got um, some drawings that he's put together not necessarily from an architect that he's put together himself for the kitchen so we've got some of those type of drawings as well so it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, specialist drawings from say the kitchen fitting company etc it can be a hand-drawn um, drawing with the positions of sockets um, cooker points etc on them as well so let's think about putting together the paperwork required risk assessments method statements company safety policy making sure we've also got first aid kit we've got a fire extinguisher on the van etc so that's the bigger picture for that first video that we're in a position to say to perhaps the NIC or NAPIT when we go for registration that we are prepared and ready to work for ourselves as a sole trader so Mark, can have a look at the earthing arrangement for me now. If you want to open the meter box up for me, let's see which earthing arrangement we've got on this install, please. Of course. So as we look in here, just move that tag out of the way for me, please. Uh, can you name the earthing arrangement for me? This is a TNCS earthing arrangement, Gary. Good, and maximum external earth fault loop impedance for the installation is? 0.35. And what size are the tails for line and neutral going into the install? These are 25 millimetre squared. And the earthing conductor? This is 16 millimetre squared. Brilliant, is there any issues with the front door that we suggested that are gonna be repaired before we leave? Um, I think we should replace the door um, to prevent ingress of moisture um, or anything any risk of anything getting wet so we'll replace this door as well as foreign bodies yeah obviously we can get a hand in there so we're going to make an other make a plate to go over that or we're going to get the door replaced itself so we've got the bonding next then mark so we located the bonding for the gas and mark what size is the bonding for the gas this is 10 millimeter squared gary and is it on the customer side or the intake side of the meter it's on the customer side of the meter this good and what's the maximum distance it should be within uh, the entrance of the building customer side it should be within 600 millimeters good and do you know what the tag on top of it says uh, it should be safety electrical connection do not remove okay excellent okay thank you so mark's already made me fully aware of the water bond um, the clamp itself is not before the first branch even though it's impractical to insert it before the first branch but it is positioned in the wrong place and mark will be moving it he also confirmed off camera that it is a 10 millimeter square cable and the clamp says safety electrical connection do not remove. So we can see part of the ceiling has been removed in order to facilitate the new cables. Okay, so we come through there as part of a ring and then we come through to the distribution board which is going to be changed. Currently got an older style Wilex one with no RCD protection. That's going to be replaced by a 12 way dual RC distribution board as part of the upgrade on the install. So Mark's just about to chase the wall and we're going to be using this Armeg Tri Cutter. So it'll be interesting for me to see this. I've only really seen them on demonstrations at trade shows. So it'll be nice to see this one in action as he attempts to chase out some of the boxes on the wall within this kitchen installation.
Again, that's a whistle stop tour of the time I've spent with Mark on site. Mark has installed cooker circuit, socket circuit, some lighting circuit cables have gone in as well. We've had to look at this specification for both the oven, the kitchen layout, etc. during the visit. We also use table D1 in order to work out the clipping distances for our cables. And we use the guide to the building regulations in order to work out or confirm really the heights of switches and sockets forming the installation itself. So how do you think it went, Mark? I think you went really good today, Gary. Thanks for coming out. Um, I think we cleared a number of objectives today. Moving forward, I think we've only got a few left to tick off. Um, hopefully you're going to come back next week and look at the new fuse box that we'll be installing. And hopefully that will complete most of the things we need to do moving forward for the domestic installer course. The one thing we did find though, didn't we, as we went through, that the risk assessments and method statements held us back a little bit. Yeah. We've got all the other paperwork nicely in place, but it's the, the, those fine tuning of risk assessments yeah. and method statements. So I'd like to think as we're watching this as my learners, it's deadly important that on the visits, we've got those documentations in front of us. Do you agree? Yeah. Well, moving forward uh, this week, I'll hope to complete all of those documents for you, Gary, and then this job will be complete. Good. Excellent. We hope this video has been some help.